For the first install, you will receive a compressed file via email. Extract the files to a shared folder in a server, so it can be accessed by the users you want. Once the compressed files have been extracted, you will see a folder with the resort initials, followed by underscore, followed by the word photos. This is the folder where all the pictures must be stored once they have been renamed. You will also see the Excel file ready to use. It is recommended to create a shortcut or pin the file to the taskbar for easy access. There is no need to create manual backups with copy and paste. Every time the user closes the file or saves it using Ctrl-S, a backup file is automatically created in the My Documents folder of the user's computer. This is done to prevent irreparable damage after a server crash or an intentional attack by a malicious user. You can always have the backup files stored in several local computers. For updates, you will receive only an Excel file via email. Updating the photo files is not needed. This Excel file has no data in it. Save it in your desktop. Tell other users to close their copies. Enable macros in the yellow bars. The empty updated file will show. Once macros are enabled, the main tab will show, with the Settings and Updates buttons highlighted. Notice how there are no maps yet. Click on the Transfer Data button. The Update file will ask you to find the old file in which you have been working so far. Browse the window until you find the location of the old file. It should be in a shared server. Select the old file. From now on, the process is fully automatic. The update file will import all the data from the old file, including your preferences, and save itself with the name of the old file, replacing it. You now have a fully functional new file with the same name and all the data. No need to change shortcuts or anything. When you close the file, the tabs will disappear, being replaced by the warning screen that shows whenever you open the file for the first time. This is done in case the file is opened from a new location. Don't worry, the data is still there, only hidden, and will show up again when the macros are enabled.